today uh, we are going to a toy fair which is in Orpington uh, not too far away from the station uh, I'm not gonna lie I did find out about this toy fair through watching Scott's retro uh, collectibles video and thought we want to go check it out ourselves and see how it is oh yeah look we're just going past uh, Kent comics actually in Orpington just here but yeah back today with bargain Ben we're going to meet uh, up with Jappa down there as well and uh, yeah hopefully we'll be able to find a few bits and bobs. I know it's a lot of trains down there and stuff but hopefully we might even find a few games so yeah we'll see you in there. You sure ain't that big building? There it is. I'm running a small evening toy for you. That's Kingsdown. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Like Will do. Thanks. Take a bag as well, yeah? Yeah, the bags are free. Thank you very much. They must be from the 80s. Yeah. yeah There's some more modern stuff over there. Uh, is it just this one, man? Yeah, you know that. Yeah, I know for like 20. <laughs> Yeah. Remember I've done them all and then they all sold. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mate. Yeah, actually it would be. Oh, that's oh there's a few games here. There's four pound each. Yes, Four pound each, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We do two for seven? Yeah? yeah? Sweet. Take two pounds. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Mr. Arsenal, mate. We take three pound on that? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You got it. Oh, mate, come on, fantasy. Oh, look, that's a lot of rats. Oh, yeah. 20. 20. Some of them are really good shopping. What will you get off the £4 shopping? That's the guy from Small Soldiers. Yes, the bad guy. Uh, Is I can't that remember the bad guy? No, he's like a little, um, little side yeah, guy. Yeah, he was. No, no, he was. I, was. I swear he ended up being the bad guy. No. No, that's, you're thinking of Tom Lee Jones. He's like one of the army people. Oh, yeah. Was it Garganoids? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Garganoids. Garganoids? Garganoids? I can't remember. I did like that film, though. Oh, that's cool. Look, playing with Bill uh, Back to the Future. There's some cool stuff here, man. I didn't have a proper look on that storm. Oh look, you've got the um the Simpson the Homer Simpson with the movie one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah I fucking love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Tats Hazo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will. Yeah. yeah, this is it's not that's not a bad shot, you know. People will come here to buy Yeah.
Oh, mate, that is amazing. That is so sick. Look, E.T. LJM. Very, that's really, very, these are really cool, actually. Which LJM toys. Sorry, mate, how much are your E.T.'s? Sorry? Your E.T. toys. Um, I hate that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're from Universal Studios, 1980s. Uh, we sell them at 15 each. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Five pounds for them. Probably gonna sell them off there. Oh, they've got a little sale on them. Say two pounds for this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll see you what, yeah? We do it all of them for a fiver? And you just keep the fiver? Yeah. Yeah? Wicked. Dumb. Some of the, oh mate, big boss man. Thank you. That's yeah. savage. How much is that? Three quid. Look man, big boss man. Original. Oh, yeah. That's sick. <laughs> what, the the ten, Did that say ten pound each or seventy pound each? It's gay literally two cars, seventy pound each. Yeah. Oh, that's seven pounds. Oh, that's a ten. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, that's cool. Is that scrub? Yeah. Huh? It's really old. This is like 1998, 1999. This is really, really old. For six pounds, you know, it's not bad. You gonna take a gamble there? Probably just get it for a fiver. There, and you should do that for a tenner. We've got 12 on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a V I saw that, that looks really cool. That is so awesome. Ten pounds. Ten pounds for that, and look at the condition. I want to get the bag out. <coughs> they gave us loads of these in a box. I think I'm. I think I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Right here, Jeffa. Well, we've been. We have some charity shops to go. Okay. Oh, booked. There you go. That's your collection of American <laughs> <laughs> FIFA 10, <laughs> FIFA 10 down. Oh, here's down there. FIFA 10. FIFA 14. Yeah, that's yeah, 12 Eight. years old now. What is FIFA, FIFA 10, 10 on the Wii? FIFA 7 over there. Probably what, what? 6. Oh, oh yeah. 12.50 though. Oh, I sold uh, that last week for 22 quid. Did you? Yeah. Well, sorry, two more pounds in it, isn't it, to be fair. Yeah, it is. Street fighter. What have I made for you? Where? Where? Behind. Ah, oh, I've got it. Put it on the other side. See, look, Fing oh, yeah. Hospital. Yeah, I've got it on there. Have you? Where's that Donkey Kong game? See, no, it's not gone. It's not gone. I reckon it's hidden. I reckon it's hidden somewhere. You know? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get chopping in. Me. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at Mario Party at the top here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. 
Right, there's been an insane turn of events. We were waiting in the queue at CX, and some guy, he's chopping in some of the most unbelievable retro stuff I've ever seen in my life. No exaggeration. <laughs> So just a little disclaimer here, uh, no money actually exchanged hands uh, within the CEX when I bought the games off Dan. Uh, I was just kind of waving the money in his face to kind of tempt him. Um, but yeah, no money actually exchanged hands within CEX premises. I oh know, absolutely minty. I actually came to buy one of those games from here today because they've got uh, Donkey Kong in stock. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I came to exchange a few things that I've got to get one. So now I've got two, like, unbelievable. <laughs> What a day. Yeah, we went to the toy fair in, uh, in Crofton Halls. Is there a toy fair? Yeah, yeah. Trains, die cast, had a few games there as well. So. I could actually find them. I'm not going to lie. Right, I'm going to go through Ben's pickups because he has got some awesome stuff. Right, yeah, go for it. So first got Sonic and the Black Knight, you got that from the Toy Fair. DS. Loads of games. Like Loads of games. Cool. Right, this is from CEX. Primal Rage. Bend it over, done. A little bit, yeah, that's it, that's it. Yep. These are all complete mint box. Street Fighter 2, angle it down. Yeah, yeah. And Micro Machines Turbo 96. All complete. Now these is where it gets interesting. WarioWare touched on the DS. Now we've got this, we've got off a guy called Dan in CEX. Super Mario Bros. is mid condition. Game Boy Advance NES Classics. And again, F-Zero maximum velocity. Now I know Ben only paid two pound for this, because look, it's coming apart, but oh, okay. it just, you just stick it back together. That's it. We've got Crash 2. Basically, CX wouldn't take this off, uh, Dan, so that, uh, Ben ended up buying it. It's like a 40 pound game. Bomber Man, NES Classics. Oh, mate, that is awesome. I, I recently actually got that from the London Game Market myself. And we've got Mario Party Island Tour. So, rest all just that. And it's just fodder. And it just fodder as well. All for like proper bargain prices. Like. And we're back. So. Just got back from hunting around the toy fair and yeah, today was a totally unexpected hunt. So much cool stuff happened. Honestly, it's just like, it's one of those days that you always hope is going to happen. Never does. But then when it does, you're just like over the moon. Do you know what I mean? So I'll tell you the story. Like I met with Ben um, at the start of the day, went to the toy fair um went around the toy fair found a few games uh found, found a nice toy as well uh then realized i found enough uh, for some fodder met with japper after went to a few charity shops didn't really find much then went to cex and when we were queuing up we uh, met a gentleman called dan and he was trading like over like 500 pieces we're talking games consoles a lot a lot of stuff so why he was trading it in, there was a few bits and bobs that CEX wouldn't take. So we just said to him, look, can we buy it off you? And um, he was like, yeah, of course. So we did some deals and I actually bought some stuff off him that CEX probably would have taken as well, but I offered him a little bit more money. And we did those dealings outside of CEX. So I managed to get some really, really cool games off him. And um, yeah, I've managed to trade in pretty much most of those DS and Wii games that I've got from the Toy Fair as well. So let's get straight into it. Now let's start with the stuff I've got from the Toy Fair first. So let's start with the first game, which is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time, so my phone. Um, Pokemon game that like, I'm not overly familiar with, but like, it's in really, really nice condition. Uh, this is kind of a series that I'm not like really like overly familiar with, uh, but it has eight pounds uh, trading value, which isn't too bad, but I thought I'd keep hold of it because you know these Pokemon games are always going up in value and yeah it seems like a pokemon game that i might enjoy so it's um one that i'm gonna take a look at at some point in the future so then we have a toy now this is an x-men toy uh it's been made by disney so 
Uh, it's a bit more recent. It was from the original kind of uh, cartoon that was uh, on Fox Kids back in the day. Um, I really like that that cartoon, but this one's a little bit more recent. As you can see, uh, a few of the characters have got like kind of different um, haircuts and stuff. Uh, so then we're going to move on to the pickups from CEX and from Dan. Now. I can't believe the games that I was able to get off Dan. The game I actually went in to get from CEX is very similar to the games that I actually ended up getting off Dan. So I'll show you the game I got from CEX first, which is Donkey Kong NES Classics. Now, this is complete. It is absolutely mint condition. As you can see, but it's even in its plastic still. Really nice, very happy with that. Um, and it's all there and it's mint condition. This was 15 pounds from CEX, got that with vouchers, got that with the vouchers from the games that I bought from the uh, Toy Fair, which was like Bakugan, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. I got 23 pounds for 12 pound uh, investment. So I was able to get this and then have eight pounds left over. So that's really cool. So then the rest of the games I got off Dan, I'm just like so excited to show you guys because there's such I mean, for me, they're Holy Grail pickups. Like, expect the two of them, they're both Holy Holy Grail. So the first one is Dr. Mario NES Classics. Now, people might think, why is that a Holy Grail pickup for you? Like, this is a game that I used to have when I was younger on this on the Game Boy Advance. This wasn't my first experience playing it, but I had these NES Classics, and I always love the boxes of them. And you can see it's complete as well. It's all there. Uh, instructions is there. And this was only um, 15 pounds, exactly the same price as it says on the back on the HMV sticker. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so happy with this. Just so happy with the condition of everything that Dan had. Like, really, really nice. And we saw Ben's pickups just before as well. He managed to get some really nice stuff off him as well, including F Zero that he glued back together. Um, and then we've got oh, Castlevania. I absolutely love this game and to actually own a physical copy on the Game Boy Advance is I'm just over the moon. I'm just so so happy with it. Like it's com it's complete. This is only a tenner. This is only a tenner. Unbelievable. What a deal. Like I just couldn't believe that he made my game is such a good deal on this uh, Castlevania Game Boy Advance game. I know this is obviously a re-release of the NES version, but to have this for me is a holy grail pickup. I'm so so happy with this. It's, yeah, a fantastic price as well. Just blown away. Uh, and then we've got a game called Treasure Island, but it is the Italian ver version. Now CEX wouldn't take this off Dan, so I offered him like two, three quid and he took it. Um, it's complete, it's all there. Yep, I think it's just a Disney, kind of just a plain ass Disney film. And then we have Robocop 2 on the Game Boy. Now I've actually owned this game before, I had it boxed and unfortunately I sold it. Uh, I bought it for 10 pounds and that's worth like 100. Oh, I was so annoyed, but yeah, it is what it is. And yeah, Robocop 2. So that's it. Uh, I'll quickly show you my eight pound voucher that I've got left over from CEX. There we go. And yeah, that's it. Uh, so if you like that, smash that like button, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.